I'm Mark Menzer, I'm the principal scientist for drug discovery for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation Therapeutics and I'm also the lab head for the CFFD lab in the Boston area which we set up two years ago. In uh, 2011 we decided that uh, it would be good if the foundation had its internal lab to sort of boost development of new ways to discover drugs. The idea was really for the lab to test new assays, develop new assays and be an interface between the, the various parts of the CF research community. So the CFFT lab is focused on finding disease modifying drugs. So this means drugs that really address the underlying defect would basically restore function of the CFDR protein at the cell surface. We're not working on anti-infectives or anti-inflammatories. We really want to modify the disease itself. One of the examples of a project that the lab is handling right now is developing a new high throughput screen. High throughput screening is when you test really thousands or hundreds of thousands of molecules in one type of experiment, one assay, and uh, that should be done in a relatively short amount of time. From science that comes from academic labs, we had sort of a good rationale to look for molecules in a different way than was previously done. So we developed new screening assays that hadn't really been implemented by anybody else. It seems to be very promising in our hands and now we're also looking to make these assays available to partners of ours that would like to use this technology. So I think the CFFT lab is a somewhat unique place to do CF drug discovery because we are directly tied into the foundation and thereby probably interact much more with the CF community and patients and I think that really helps us to sort of focus and stay focused on who we're doing the work for rather than doing just our science in the ivory tower. We are certainly excited about where we are right now. We have sort of these new screening assays going and have still a lot of compounds that need to be tested in these assays and we can test and uh, already from our early results with just 10,000 compounds, we know that this looks to deliver promising hits. Then our end goal is really to find treatment for uh, these patients that is comparable to what the benefit of Kaleidico has been for the G551D population.